The British International School of New York is a co-educational private school on the East River in Manhattan. We are an IB-based school, which strives for cooperation, kindness, and creativity. Hello, my name is Milo, and I'm, my name is Freddy. And our inquiry was, what is the most efficient design for a trebuchet, and what principles of physics are incorporated in it? Uh, so, okay, so the trebuchet was a, a Middle Ages siege weapon used to bring down castle walls. Um, so some of the physics and mechanics based um, within the trebuchet, so one of them is energy transfer. So um, the whole point of a trebuchet is to transfer as much energy as you can. The potential energy um, is all there, but you want to try and uh, use all possible. So there are many variables that you need to change, such as the... Um, pivot point, you want to limit the friction with that, and things like that. So another one is stall points. Um, you want the trebuchet to fire at uh, the point in which the weight is right underneath in the middle. So then it's firing right there so you can use all of that potential energy. Um, and then there is uh, uh, the hanging counterweight. This enables the stall points to be possible. Then we have levers, so the trebuchet basically is a massive lever as you are um, taking a distance uh, this amount with the weight, it falls about that much, into all this distance and then you add the sling which brings it all around here. So, so um, basically um, we, in our investigation we did um, seven attempts, we modified many variables of the trebuchet to make it most efficient. And that to make it um, fly farther, and the farthest we got to was six meters. Then we looked. We wanted to find the exact efficiency of the trebuchet and the exact power of the trebuchet. And to do that, power equal is you have to find work over time, and then efficiency is useful energy out divided by the total energy in. Thank you.